Hello and welcome back to Calculus 2, Math 112. This is Lecture 33. Our topic in this lecture is graphing in polar coordinates. Now let's recall the fundamental relationships between x and y and r and theta. Remember, x is r cosine theta and y is r sine theta. Also, r squared equals x squared plus y squared and theta is arctangent y over x. Now if we have a function, r is a function of theta, then dy dx can be found using the chain rule as dy d theta over dx d theta. So since x is f of theta cosine theta and y is f of theta sine theta, dx d theta is found using the product rule. The first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. We can also find dy d theta using the chain rule. The first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And then we're ready to find dy dx. Because remember, dy dx is the slope of the tangent to the curve. You might think that maybe dr d theta is the slope of the tangent, but it's not. dr d theta is the rate of change of r with respect to theta. dy dx is the slope of the tangent, so we have to use that expression that we calculated using the chain rule in order to find dy dx, the slope of the tangent. Now let's consider some graphs. Suppose we have the equation r equals 2a sine theta. Well, that's the equation of a circle. Not centered at the origin, centered at a0. Because if you multiply both sides of the equation by r, you get r squared equals 2a r sine theta. So x squared plus y squared equals 2ay. That's the equation of a circle of radius a, centered at the point a0, where a is the radius and 0 is the angle theta. In xy coordinates, x is 0 and y is a, gives you the center of the circle. Now here is a very common equation in polar coordinates. r squared equals 2a squared cosine 2 theta. This is a lemnus gate, like a figure 8. This lemnus gate is fixed on the x-axis. We see that when theta is 0 and when theta is equal to pi, cosine of 2 theta gives us 1. So r is a times the square root of 2. So on each side of the lemnus gate, the line through the center of it is of length a root 2. We also have lemnus gates that are centered on an angle involving a sine 2 theta instead of cosine 2 theta. Okay? This is a very useful equation and it also has its counterpart in Cartesian coordinates. But the best way to analyze it is using polar coordinates. Another useful equation in polar coordinates is r equals a times 1 plus cosine of theta. Now this is a cardioid because it looks like a heart. In this particular case when theta is 0, r is 2a. That's the longest side of the cardioid. You can see that when theta is pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, r is just a. And when theta is pi, r is 0. So this generates a very interesting graph that also has useful applications. And it can be centered on other axes as well or in other directions depending upon whether we use 
1 minus cosine theta, 1 plus sine theta, or 1 minus sine theta as well. The last equation we'll look at in this lecture is r equals theta. That is, the radius, which is the distance from the origin, equals theta as theta increases from 0 to infinity. This is a spiral. It spirals outward to infinity as theta goes to infinity and also useful in some applications. In our next lecture, we'll talk about calculating areas of sectors using polar coordinates.